Father will bless you. Teach us your word in the name of Jesus. This is parental blessings part four. Now still on, you know, the blessings that was pronounced to Issachar. You know, the father referred to Issachar as a strong ass, which means a strong donkey. Now, and the second point to note about donkeys is that they are very strong and intelligent. This shows that the tribe of Issachar will be noted for strength and wisdom. This is why the tribe of Issachar were honorable men because they understood times and seasons. And because of this, they knew what Israel ought to do. It takes wisdom to be able to discern between right and wrong. It is also important to note that a donkey is stronger than a horse of the same size. Donkeys are, you know, donkeys have an incredible memory. They can recognize areas and other donkeys. They, you know, for for about, you know, they can recognize things that as that are as old as 25 years. And from from the father's blessing, we can see that Issachar's tribe will be noted for responsibilities. Their shoulders is designed to carry responsibility. They will be responsible ends. Shouldering responsibility won't be a problem to them. So a responsible person is one who have a shoulder that can carry responsibility. The last statement that was made to them was a bit shocking. The father said they will become a servant to tribute. Now, in the New Living Translation, the same word means he will submit himself to hard labor. This means that he will show, you know, this means that the tribe of Issachar will show great qualities of endurance, long suffering, and perseverance. This is because it will take endurance to submit to hard labor and pass through it without backing off. But let's look at the blessings of Jacob on Dan, which was also one of the sons of Jacob. We we'll see that in Genesis chapter 49, verse 16 to 17. Dan shall judge his people. As one of the tribes of Israel, Dan shall be a serpent in the way and harder in the path that biteth the that biteth the ox ear, so that his rider shall fall backwards. The pronouncement that was made on Dan shows that his generations will also become a judge in Israel, just as the Judas tribe. It shows that people will bring cases for them to settle. They were described as a serpent by the way. This shows how skillful they will be. The way is showing broadness and, uh, and wideness. The way also points to the world at large. Becoming a serpent by the way means that as they journey through life, they will become skillful and cunning in the use of weapons of war. One thing this tribe should be careful of is the tendency of becoming deceptive. This is because a man can also be skillful in deception. Another statement directed to them was that they will be an harder in the past. A path is a more defined and an enclosed area. And Hather is a type of serpent which is very poisonous. This means that the tribe of Dan can be very deadly when their enemies meet with them in an enclosed area due to how skillful they are in warfare. With their skills, they can attack a horse and its rider and make them fall backwards. This picture is a picture of victory over attacks from enemy. It means that uh, the, the, the tribe of Dan will constantly have victories over every attacks coming from their enemies. Um, in verse 18, Jacob paused and said, I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. Now the question is, what salvation was he talking about? This statement, you know, the statement he made here has a very deep meaning but the major thing he was referring to was his departure it may have you know some other spiritual meanings but the major thing jacob was referring to here was his departure suddenly he, he took a pause and he said 
I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. That's Genesis chapter 49, verse 18. The salvation here is when his mortal body will be transformed into an immortal body and he will forever stay in the realms of glory with God. He was still on earth, yet he was seriously longing for heaven. Genesis chapter 49 verse 19. Let's look at Jacob's blessing on God. G-A-D. God, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at last. The blessings on God was very short, yet it was powerful. This means that when it comes to God, it may appear like, you know, like the enemies have overcome them, but at the end, they will surely overcome. Their future holds more glory than their present. In the book of Mark, in chapter 5, uh, there's a story of a madman who was a gatherer or a gatherite. He was possessed with the spirit of legion, and this spirit led him away from the city into the wilderness. This man was a descendant of God who was the son to Jacob. God was the ancestor of this madman, and because of the blessings of Jacob over his great grandfather, he was delivered from the demon spirit. This pronouncement that it was this pronouncement that led to the deliverance of that madman at Gadara, since it was an offspring of the descendant of God. This further reveals to us that the blessings Jacob gave to his children was a generational blessing. It won't stop on the 12 tribes of Israel alone, but it will also extend to their offsprings from generations to generations. So, the madman at Gadara was a descendant of God. You know, God became a nation. And those people that dwell in the nation of God were called Gadarenes. So, the man, the madman at Gadara was a Gadarene, meaning that he was a descendant of God. And the, pro, and the prophetic pronouncement that Jacob made on God in Genesis chapter 49, verse 19, is that a troop will overcome him, but later he will, he will overcome. Which means that, now, the, the troop here, the troop that overcame this madman at, Gad, at, at Gadara was the demon spirit. So the demon spirit came upon him as a troop. That's why they came as legion. Legion is a troop. So, and Joseph said, Jacob said, a troop will overcome him, but at last he will win. So the troop that came to attack this man was the spirit of legion, but at last he overcame because Jesus came and casted out the demon spirit. This is the wisdom of God. Don't sell it. We'll continue from the next series. God bless you.